Part of our job here is making spec work for potential clients to show them what we can offer. We recently made an ad for a local brewery that had just come out with a new beer called Nightman. A lot of their branding was dark and moody, so we decided to stick with that theme. We created a quick mood board to help us come up with ideas for the video. We drew inspiration from Alice in Wonderland and other similar movies. We already envisioned the opening shot moving through the woods, so we started with that idea and built around it. We knew we wanted to add a lot of natural elements to the set to make it more believable, but we also wanted to shoot in our studio so that we'd be able to control the lighting. So we went to our local park in the city and gathered a bunch of branches and leaves to add to our set. We also reached out to one of our friends who has an outdoor clothing brand to borrow some props and a lantern. So for our camera setup, we're using our Panasonic S1H, which is our main camera with a 24 to 70 2.8 on it, which will give us a variety of focal lengths to work with. We can uh, get a bunch of different types of shots. We're also gonna throw a quarter Pro Mist uh, filter on there to give it a little bit of a dreamy, kind of hazy look since we're going for kind of a spooky fairy tale sort of vibe. We knew we wanted the scene to be super dark and moody, so we started by blocking out all the existing light from our studio using our blackout curtains. Then we used our projector to create our background by projecting an image of the woods on our white wall. To eat up any stray light, we used muslin and other blackout materials in and around the set. To make the entire scene appear more blue, we set our camera's white balance to tungsten. This made any existing light, as well as the projector, appear more blue, almost like you're walking through the woods at night. Our main source of light were our six inch tube lights. We set them to a really warm color temperature to emulate the fire coming from our lantern. We also modulated the light by hand by using a curtain to sporadically block out light further selling the idea of a lantern. It was important that the beer was the best looking thing on set. We used glycerin mixed with water to create water droplets to emulate condensation. The glycerin helps the water stay on the can for an extended period of time. But be careful when you're using it, it can get very messy and it can ruin your equipment very fast. For the pour shot, we used a funnel so we could funnel the beer back into the can so we weren't wasting more cans of beer. Since we were recycling the beer, we lost a lot of the carbonation effect after we reused it a few times. To fix this, we used a little plastic pipette to create bubbles in the bottom of the glass. For the last shot, we wanted to create a big reveal, so I used two branches and pulled them away as Adam pushed in to create the final shot. Our first major problem was lighting. We wanted to use a real lantern with real fire, but we didn't want to have to do that in our studio. We chose to instead use our small tube lights as the primary source of light and use the motion of the light to create the look of a candle flicker. Another major obstacle we encountered was getting the jib shot during the pour. We don't own a jib, so we decided the best way to achieve this was by mounting the slider vertically to a tripod. This ended up being a lot harder than anticipated, but in the end it worked out. After countless hours of setting up, changing our minds a few times, we finally ended up with a video we liked. We plan on making more videos like this in the future, but for now, here's the finished product.